Welcome to another edition of Inside Leatherneck Athletics. I'm your host, Deontay Dixon, and today we will be talking about football with head coach Mark Hendrickson. Thank you, Coach, for attending. It's great to be here, Deontay. Appreciate it. Well, after having such an explosive year offensively uh, two seasons ago, what do you say was probably the issue offensively in the previous season? Well, we, we, we will remain balanced as always, Deontay. We'll, we will run and pass the ball. Um, and, and keep that mix very much alive. Um, and, and, and a year ago, we got away from, away from that a little bit. This year will be very balanced again. Uh, we want that defensive coordinator on the other sideline that's facing our offense, that, that every snap, we want him to, 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 to try to take his best guess, but we don't want him to know for sure whether we're gonna run the ball or throw the ball in the very next snap. We've got to remain very balanced and uh, you know, and, and, and a big part of our game this fall will be we should be successful running the ball, and then therefore we need a lot of play action as well. We need to fake that run play and then set up and throw a pass down the field. So uh, run game needs to be established first, and then a great play action passing game as well. Defensively, the team kind of struggled last year, giving up 36.1 points per game. How do you get back to that or build a very – explosive defense that's going to stop uh, the opposing team? Well, we, we've, we've uh, made a big change defensively. We are installing an entirely new defensive scheme this spring. Uh, we're installing a 4-3 defensive front. Um, and the, the past several years, we've had three down defensive alignment, three big guys, you'd say, with their hands down the ground and three three-point stance. This fall, we're going to have four down defensive alignment in that 4-3 scheme. Um, so uh, four, four D linemen with their hands on the ground with three linebackers behind them, two safeties and two cornerbacks. In this conference, the one thing that remains constant, you've got to stop the opponent's run game first and then be concerned with their passing game. And uh, we feel like the 4-3 scheme, scheme you know, will help us a great deal in taking you know, the right steps to getting that defense right back where we want it. Okay. Um, the running game has been known to be a very uh, successful thing and offensively for Western Illinois, but for some reason last year it kind of hit a snag. Uh, how do you get that back to where it used to be? Well, the run game again this spring looks excellent. Um, and part of that, you know, just really goes along with the health of our running backs. Unfortunately, last fall we, we had four running backs go down. And uh, in fact, with four games to go, we had to pull the red shirt off of our true freshman running back, Nico Watson, out of Rock Island High School. Um, Nico did a great job in those final four games, averaging 115 yards per game against four great conference opponents. Um, and Nico is full, full go this spring. And, but, but the good news is Carlton Ray, that got nicked up last fall, is going full speed this spring and looks excellent. Um, he'll be a senior. Um, and then a junior is Bryce Flowers. And, and Bryce has looked great this spring. Unfortunately, last fall, Bryce was injured basically the entire season. Uh, never regained uh, you know, his, his, his true form from the injury against, against Appalachian State in that playoff game from 2010. But Bryce is now full speed, and uh, so those three look outstanding this spring. And So a lot of the run game has to do with the health of our running backs, and the good news is we've got three real good ones. All right, Coach, well, thank you for the interview. Uh, good luck next year. Hopefully you guys do very well and appreciate it. Coach. Thank you, Deontay. Thank you. This has been an edition of Leathernecks, Inside Leatherneck Athletics. I'm your host, Deontay Dixon. Have a great day.